Morning everyone, just a quick update of what's been going on. I've um, I've been speaking to doctors, in particularly in relation to Dr Adil, who was struck off for 12 months. Now, um, they're not saying that what they agree with what he said, but they think it's outrageous that this doctor with three children has lost all of his income for the next 12 months for expressing a view. Um, so I'm working on that story. I'm also being contacted by journalists. So I probably got around five who were saying, well done, keep up the great work. Some of them already working for organisations like the BBC are trying to work within the guidelines, the restrictive guidelines, doing what they can. Um, what, what are we working for? What are we trying to achieve? Um, the more I've heard really over the last week, the more um, convinced I am that there is something very concerning happening at the moment. Um, Certainly from the number of medical professionals, scientists, whistleblowers, those within the media as well. The stories that I'm hearing is, for me, pointing towards something. I don't know what, um, but I don't believe everything that we're being told in relation to um, coronavirus and the risks and the very restrict restrictions that are being put on our daily lives and the impact it's having in the economy and the impact it's having on the vulnerable, um, on children and the elderly. And um, for me, really, a turning point was masks on children, um, which it seems to be being brought in in Ireland and some schools in England. Um, thankfully, not not in the vast majority of schools, though, not in the vast majority. And what we're doing to our elderly. And I don't think there's anyone who wasn't impacted by the Facebook live from Claire Wills Harrison. Uh, so many people have sent me that. I've seen it. And all of these these doctors in America, Germany and Spain coming forward and saying, um, you know, the hydroxychloroquine could work. Um, the virus isn't as, as, a, as much of a threat as we've been told. There's a lot of information out there. Um, what I'm doing is getting people to share how they're feeling. And I've got all of these, uh, obviously, professionals that I'm talking to as well from medical backgrounds, um, education backgrounds, science backgrounds that I'm hoping to put on the channel too. So a little update, very, very busy. If you can afford to donate to the Patreon, please do, because it enables me to work on this full time. I don't have to do the other work that brings in income. So um, speak to you soon.